dolls so today i'm going to share with you some of my summer essentials i know it is still april and summer is a few months away but i wanted to do this video ahead of time so i could give you guys ideas of what to stock up on before the hot summer months approach so i'm going to share with you my ultimate summer essentials or my ultimate guide to summer must-haves or whatever the heck you want to call this video i'm going to share everything that i need to have to prep myself for the scorching summer months so yes let's get into this so the first thing i am going to start off with is sunscreen i am naturally very very pale and when i go out in the sun whether it be for an hour or five hours i burn really easily so my favorite to use is the hawaiian tropic sheer touch lotion sunscreen uh, i get this at walmart walgreens target places like that and um, i love this one so much because it acts kind of as a lotion and it smells really good it doesn't have like that weird oily texture or that gross sunscreen smell it smells kind of like paradise and it's just really nice hey i made a rhyme and i didn't even mean to this is the spf 30 usually i'll get between spf 30 to spf like 50 uh, but i love this so much it says non-greasy oil free and it is water resistant for 80 minutes definitely have to have some sort of sunscreen because we do not want that sun to damage our skin when i do burn i like to use an aloe type lotion or noxema or something like that to help with the burning so i'll either use noxema or i will use this that i got at bath and body works uh, a couple years ago it is the hawaii passion fruit kiss aloe gel lotion and you guys this is my favorite summer scent from bath and body works hands down Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good, and this really does soothe an aching sunburn. I like it. I love how cool it is to the touch when you're putting it on because it has the aloe in it, and it's just so refreshing and nice. So definitely love the Hawaii Passion Fruit from Bath & Body Works. And then, of course, I also, because I am so pale, I do like to self-tan once in a while. Not all the time. I don't keep up with it by any means. But when I do, I have been using the Banana Boat Summer Color Self-Tanning Lotion in the light to medium color. And it just looks like this. You can apply it with just regular latex gloves, which is what I do. I apply it after my skin is dry and I am out of the shower. Once I have exfoliated and everything like that, and then I leave it on overnight I sleep with it on and then I will wake up in the morning and rinse it off in the shower I don't like scrub it or anything like that I just rinse and it gives a nice glow it's not so dramatic or harsh but it gives your skin a nice glow and of course you can use this repeatedly to build it up however much you so choose but this is the one I use that I love okay and then uh, moving on to more skincare or beauty stuff uh, I love the Maybelline fit me foundation this is the foundation I wear every day I'm wearing it right now uh, this one is in the matte and poreless finish so it has like that matte finish to it but you want to have a BB cream or a foundation or something you can also even mix sunscreen with your normal foundation was which is what I like to do sometimes hence why I use the lotion sunscreen so it's less harsh on my face when I do mix it uh, but typically you would want to get a, a foundation with SPF in it. So this is the matte and poreless finish that does not have SPF. And this is the dewy and smooth finish that has SPF 18. I always tend to sunburn right here on my cheeks. So I always want to either mix my sunscreen with my foundation that I'm currently using or just get a foundation that has SPF in it. Also, BB creams are amazing for the summertime because they're so much more lightweight some of them you can wear while you're in the water and stuff and they don't come off as easily so definitely look into BB creams that have SPF in them for the lightweightness and the sunscreen protection of course you are going to want a water bottle whether it be just a pure life or arrowhead water bottle you can buy from the store or you get a fancier one like this that you just continue washing and reusing all of the time i got this from walmart a couple years back it just looks like so it is double walled so it keeps the ice in there for quite a few hours and it has this like rubbery straw which is really cool i like it a lot um, and then you can also 
close it on the top. It has like a lid closure. Definitely water bottles. You want to stay hydrated if you're going to be out in the sun, on vacation, walking around a lot, going to the park. You want to constantly stay hydrated and drink tons and tons and tons of water. So definitely get yourself a cute fashionable little water bottle that you can carry around with you to motivate you to keep drinking water and to stay hydrated. Next things next, you can never have too many hair ties. If you are like me and you have a big moppy head of hair during the summertime, it gets hot and you want that up and off your shoulders. So hair ties are literally a godsend. I get mine in packs and packs and bundles of like 50 to 100 from Dollar Tree and places like that. You don't necessarily need to spend a fortune on these because either they break or get lost anyway and you can never have enough of these things, especially in the summertime. Okay, now on to the fashion aspect of things. You know we need some sunglasses because the sun is going to burn our little retinas and harm our pupils. So we need some cute little sunglasses to protect our eyes from the sun's rays. I got these ones. These are like a pastel pink color. I got these from Forever 21. They're very cute, very bug-eyed, and I love them. Ooh, ooh. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, to be honest. <laughs> and then, of course, we need swimsuits, right? Swimsuits, you're gonna be swimming, whether it be in the river, in a pool, going to a water park. Let me know in the comments down below where your favorite place to go swimming during the summer is. I just got these swimsuits. I know, I know, I know, adore me. I talk about them like crazy, but you guys, their quality is so good, and I love that I can actually fit into their stuff because a lot of times I will go to Walmart or Target and I will see these adorable bathing suits and I will actually purchase them and I'll buy them and I'll bring them home without trying them on first and I'll get home and my boobs won't fit. My boobs are too big for an extra large bathing suit top from Target or Walmart. So I have since gotten some swimsuits from Adore Me that actually fit me and I could not be happier. So if you're someone like me who struggles, who are who is large chested and struggles with finding swimsuits in public stores, give Adore Me a shot because they seriously, they have um, they have swimsuits by bra size as well. Like this one right here is a 32 triple D and I am usually a 32 G but I decided to try this one out since it doesn't have a ton of padding in it and it actually fits pretty well. This is one that will be more of a sunbathing swimsuit rather than an active swimsuit but it just looks like this. It's got this adorable like orange detail on it. It kind of reminds me of like the coral reef or like clownfish or something. I don't know. I think it's really cute. So there is the top on that one and it is a halter style. And then here are the little bottoms. They just look like this. Basic bikini bottoms. Then this one right here I thought was really cool because sometimes I get self-conscious about my boobs staying in my swimsuit. And sometimes it's so hard to find a swimsuit top that my boobs are not spilling out of. I want to be able to have fun and swim and jump around and play at the river or the beach or whatever and not have to worry if all my jiggly bits are falling out of their place. So I found this one and it is so cute you guys. Okay. So it is a halter style as well, but here's what the top looks like. You can see the weave detailing on this. So it sits on the chest right here and it covers all of your cleavage area and holds your boobs in place. So if you're someone like me who is so like self-conscious about your boobs just popping out, this is definitely an option. And here are the bottoms for that one. I love the little weaving detail on the sides right here. And I also love how these are not the bikinis that have the ties on the side because sometimes those come undone when you're moving around and you're swimming around and you're playing and having fun. Sometimes those little ties on the side will come undone and then your bottoms will fall off. <laughs> so I love that these do not have ties, but they still have this really cute like detail to them to where it's still fun and playful on the sides. And then this swimsuit right here, I knew I was going to love so much. I got it in white and black. So I got this one. Here's what the bottoms look like. They're just kind of like this. They have this adorable kind of tribal print detail on them. 
and here's the back I love how the sides are like open so it's a little bit of peekaboo sexiness but nothing too revealing or crazy and then the top and because I have a larger chest I really don't like wearing halter tops if I'm going to be out during a long period of time like if I'm going to the park or something and I'm gonna be gone like all day long I want to wear a swimsuit that is comfortable and not pulling at my neck or anything so when I saw this I knew I wanted to get this in both colors because I knew it was going to be amazing um here's what the top looks like so you can see the cleavage is hidden behind this little uh, tribal print yet again it's got a little bit of padding in here so you don't have to worry about you know if it's too cold me catch my drift um literally drift <laughs> that was punny but then the back is really really cute it does this little crisscross detail it's gonna be really hard to show you like so and then it ties underneath. This is a lot less harsh on your neck because it is not a halter top. It goes and crisscrosses in the back and you can tighten this or loosen this however much you need to. And I put this on and I fell in love with it and I'm so glad I got the black one as well too. This is the most comfortable swimsuit I have ever owned, just period. So even though I talk about them a lot, it is 100% because I stand behind their brand. They are not just a subscription service you can go on there and order a swimsuit whenever the heck you want you can go on there and order a bra and underwear set whenever the heck you want you do not have to be a part of their VIP program they're offering your guys's very first set for $24.95 just in itself no subscription no VIP or anything like that but if you do decide to join the VIP program you can get your first set for only $19.95 so Moving on, after swimsuits, you obviously want to have a cute swimsuit cover up. Adore Me also has both as well, so check that out. <laughs> but I just got this one, I think you guys saw in my AMI Clubwear haul. It is just a really long, beautiful, like kimono style swim cover. I love it. It's so flowy and nice, and the floral print is beautiful. And a subscriber recently just sent me this one from Forever 21. I love this floral detail also and I love just how long and beautiful these are they're so sheer so they're not too crazy hot and this one goes really well with this orangish one because of the orange on the flowers it goes really well so I'm excited to pair those together so you definitely gotta have some cute swim covers as well as a towel a beach towel you want to of course have a beach towel with you this one I got from Toys R Us believe it or not uh, it's so cute I got this last year I think or the year before it was on sale for like four or five dollars but it has a corgi on it I hope this is in frame because I can't see anything it has a corgi on it and it says getting my bronze on I also have several my little pony ones that I will use and I want to get my hands on like a Sanrio one but I love beach towels and I can never have enough because I always want one to lay on and then I always want one to like put around me if I just got out of the pool and I'm soaking wet or whatever. So definitely got to have some cute beach towels as well. And then last of all, you want to have some shoes for the summertime that you can slip on or off and just walk everywhere and maybe wear them in the water if you're going to the river or the beach just in case if you live in an area where people don't necessarily keep up with the environment and pick up trash before they leave or just leave stuff unattended everywhere definitely keep something on your feet when you're swimming i love jelly shoes they are on sale right now at walmart for five dollars a pair and i got the pink ones i also got a pair of clear ones but they are so sparkly and cute flip-flops like thong flip-flops are also a great option during the summer because you can just put them on take them off they are so cheap you can get those at Dollar Tree or Walmart for like 90 cents or something like that I usually stock up on those as well because they're just so quick and easy and if I am swimming with them and I lose them at the river or something it's not that much of a loss but I love jelly shoes so much so I figured I would let you know that these are on sale at Walmart right now for five dollars a pair and I think that is it for my summer essentials let me know down in the comments below what is the number one thing you have to have during summer and I will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right 
Bye.